I'm going to break down the five most important concepts for you in this episode. Stoicism is all about acceptance of the present moment, embracing the importance of clear thinking, having unbiased judgment, inner peace, and general freedom from suffering, and of course, not complaining. Kicking off with the first concept, the dichotomy of control. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This is perhaps the most foundational concept in Stoic philosophy. It's just a straightforward but very profound idea. And now for the second concept, a more fatty, basically translates as love of fate. And this is another powerful concept. It's the Stoics, they're all powerful concepts. I don't know why I need to say that. Anyway, love of fate is all about acceptance and embracing of everything that happens in life, but not merely just tolerating it, but actively loving it because he who laughs at himself will never run out of things to laugh at. Now, this might seem counterintuitive or daunting in certain situations, but the Stoics argue that with radical acceptance, we can really find peace and liberation. Instead of trying to deny pain or difficulty in life's challenges, we can embrace the challenges, and that's really part of building a growth mindset after all. And they believe that embracing challenges is really part of the human existence. It can teach us to stop wishing for things to be different. Now on to number three, negative visualization. We often suffer more in imagination than in reality. A negative visualization is all about premeditating on things that worry us. The reason you might do this is to actually like embrace and accept them and realize that maybe they aren't as worrying as you thought. And now on to concept number four, Virtue is the sole good. Now, in Stoicism, the importance of virtue is a cornerstone belief of being a Stoic. Moral and ethical virtue is part of the highest form of goodness. It's the only thing truly worthy of pursuit. Now, as long as humans have existed, we've always wanted external things, wealth, reputation, power, physical pleasure. But Stoicism is really an important reminder that actually none of those things matter apart from just being a good person. And if you can take happiness in that, you don't necessarily need all this external crap. The last concept is mindful acceptance. Now, that might sound similar to the Amor Fati and Love of Fate, but there is a subtle difference. Amor Fati, Love of Fate is about embracing everything that happens, good or bad, with actual love for what fate brings, whereas mindful acceptance is about non-judgmentally acknowledging what is going on without necessarily loving it or looking to have opinions either way and just being able to see reality as it is. Now they sound a bit like they may be conflicting concepts but it's more just about like having like a third person view of your situation and being a rational human being that isn't prone to anger and things. So when you focus on awareness and acceptance of a present moment without judgment you can be fully engaged in the here and now and accepting what is happening without fighting or changing it. This really helps you let go of the desire to control external circumstances whilst focusing on your internal response, which is great to reduce anxiety and stress. 